if it's one thing I'm gonna do, it's a sleek bun. So let me show you guys how I get this sleek updo hairstyle that I've started doing. First things first, obviously I'm going to brush out my hair. You guys know that I just recently relaxed my hair. I was natural for about a year plus and I just recently relaxed my hair. I just went in for my second session of my you know relaxed hair i'm doing a side part today i usually always do a center part you know low sleek donut bun but i wanted to try out something different today so i saw this hairstyle on instagram and i just wanted to recreate it i'm doing and recreate it on my natural black girl hair you know because it's not easy because our hair is quite i don't even know how to explain it would i say yaki strong my hair let me speak for myself because i know there's some girls out there that have really soft hair like my sister they're lucky they're really the lucky ones but um even though my hair is pretty hard and you know not the easiest to work with i try my best and i i'm i'm confident that i know how to maneuver my hair anyway so i'm brushing my hair up obviously i'm going to brush the back because believe it or not people can actually see the back of your hair shocker i know i always forget to brush the back of my hair which is so silly i forget to sleek out the back of my hair and um you tend to see those little kinks but yeah um I, yeah just make sure to brush the back of your hair that's what i'm doing i'm just trying to get the feel of the hairstyle just look at it get the basis so i'm going to take in the front there's this thing i do i leave out this tiny cute um piece of hair in the front i just like it i like the way it frames my face it just i just like it anyway so that's what i'm doing i'm just going to part it like i said my hair is pretty hard to work with but i try and my hair as you can see is multi-colored i've always had this type of hair my hair hasn't always been black um it has like brown highlights i've always had it since i was a little girl i've always had this type of hair so no i didn't dye bleach nothing it's just that's just literally how my hair grows just dark very dark in some areas and lighter brown in other areas anyways i'm just trying to get the feel of the hairstyle like i said trying to sleek it up your brush is really your best friend and because my hair is quite thick i do have thick full hair i have to go in with this brush it helps detangle it helps get every strand and yeah so that's what i'm doing make sure to get a good headband i don't use rubber bands on my hair like i used to i mean i would um for a hairstyle or two there's just some hairstyles that i require using a um a rubber band but to like pack up my hair i would use this hair tie that i got from amazon i'm going to go with my eco styler gel y'all know that's my girl i use her for everything and i like the black one because it it doesn't you know i don't itch it doesn't make my hair itch yeah i'm just going to take a little amount i don't use a lot of gel anymore because um when i was in um, my university days i used to pack so much gel in my hair and it ruined my hair i had to cut my hair so yeah i don't use a lot of gel just a little i'm going to get my brush just to sleek it down just to get the foundation of the hair basically Yeah, so once I'm done sleeking it down, I'm going to take out that head tie and sleek my head back. Um, I'm just going to brush it, try to get it in a tighter, more put together, neat knot. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to sleek everything back, trying not to, you know, trying to brush out all the lumps and bumps. I try to stay away from heat in my hair just because heat damage is real. And I just feel like I can maneuver my hair and I can get the hairstyle without having to apply heat in my hair. So initially, I put the hair in like a, like I put it in a, I don't know how to explain this, you can see. But I initially decided to let the hair just stay out in like somewhat of a ponytail. And you'd see what I do later on. So I'm just going to take my papaya wax and sleek it down. This papaya wax is not water-based so it's like a wax basically it's a wax so this really helps to get all my flyaways just sleek down my hair the eco styler is really good but that's water based and it doesn't really hold everything that i need it to hold it doesn't hold like all the flyaways but this papaya wax 
does. That's why I love it. I'm actually running out. I need to get my hands on some more. Um, you can get them at any beauty supply store. I got mine from Ebano, so I'm sure you can find them anywhere. And there are many um, wax-based gels. So, yeah, don't forget to brush the back of your hair because that's a mistake I tend to make. But don't forget, this is a reminder, brush the back of your hair. Brush those kinks out. So I'm just going to get some edge um, wax gel as well i'm just going to try and you know create some little edges not too much i used to go ham on my edges back in university but i just realized like i just am um, less is more for me now so yeah let's tackle this flyaway tangle thing why do i just comb it out with a little tiny comb and i go in with my eco styler gel because it's water based i don't use the wax based gel and i just you know apply it on the little strand when i had my natural hair this was cuter i do confess because my hair was natural and it curled up a lot more but now that i don't have my natural hair it's um quite hard to just get that curl that i used to have you know once you put water on natural hair the, it tends to curl up but my hair is no longer natural i've lost all my curls so it's quite harder to get that curl but i feel like you can just do it and it will happen so once i what i do at the back i twist the ponytail and i use a rubber band remember i said i use a rubber band for some styles and i just use a rubber band to hold it down pretty self-explanatory just holding it down pull the hair in place just to give it that spiky look so those hairs now i like to put them in place as well so i'm just going to take some bobby pins here and you know just hold them down places that i feel like oh, I, um places i feel i want them to stay maybe i want them to stay at the right left center i want them to be in precise places i'm just going to hold it down just make it look neat and put together remember my hair is i think my hair is 4c texture i've never been sure of the texture of my hair so obviously it's not going to look like the hairs girls with straight sleek hair those girls i feel like they can get away with the spiky updo bun and it'll look way nicer but you know we have to work with what we have i'm not going to kill myself just because i don't have straight sleek hair i'm going to work with what i have and that's one thing i always do i work with what i have and i just make it look as best as i can to the best of my ability and i make it work for me so that's what i'm trying to do here i'm just going to comb out those little stragglers at the back comb it out so they can stand up straight you know just to get all the kinks out and whatnot so what i do for the spikiness of the spiky bun i went in with my got to be hairspray you'll see it coming up real soon but i went in my got to be hairspray and i separated them um piece by piece and i just went in with the spray and i sprayed it and i used my hand to hold it the got to be hairspray is really good because it does have a strong hold i know some people get in their feelings like oh my god you're putting hairspray in your hair it's my hair don't talk about it it's my hair <laughs> it's actually my hair so i can do what i want but anyways that's what i do so after i spray i separate them the spiky buns i separate them individually and i put the hairspray on i then further go in with my wax gel because it also has a good hold and i just use the wax gel just a little and i you know do the same thing that i did with the hairspray but what i noticed with this bun as you can see i did like five spikes i realized that um they were just too clumpy and i didn't like the way they look so after i was done with my wax gel i just went in to separate the spikes so they can be more you know spiky i just didn't like the way it was looking i was looking like a clown with them five spikes so i decided to go in and separate the spikes um i would always say got to be is your best friend for finishing okay yeah so yeah you can see that i went in to separate the spikes and in my opinion they just look much better obviously if your hair is sleeker than mine it will look 10 times even better because you know you can really get your hair straight and spiky but my hair can't do that so i work with what i have and yeah once i separated them i go in with my got to be hairspray just to keep it in hold keep everything holding real nice real tight for the rest of the day yeah so once i feel like everything is done i just went in with my brush just 
for some finishing touches any flyaways that i could see i just went in just to sleek everything down i didn't scarf my hair i didn't feel like i needed to and everything actually looks real good so yeah this is a finished look i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you learned something new in this video if you are trying um if you're thinking of trying the spiky hairstyle this is your sign to try it out don't mind if your hair isn't sleek or straight or whatever with your hair i'm sure you can do it even if your hair is short um just follow the techniques and i'm sure you can you know recreate and comment below if you have any tips and tricks that can help me out thank you so much for watching bye